Rochelle Reynolds, the social media manager with Be Visible Web Design. And today we are doing a comparison video of two very, very popular, super user-friendly animation programs, those being Doodly and Toonly. The first thing that I want to do is show you the demo videos that I created. So these are both promos for Be Visible Web Design. Um, they use the exact same script because I really wanted to kind of eliminate um, uh, the number of variables uh, that are involved in, in kind of working with these two different platforms. So basically the, the challenge was how can we take the same script and bring it to life in two different um, programs. So these were the results. Would you believe me if I told you that eating just one apple would make you healthy? What about if I said that going for a single jog would keep you fit for life? Probably not, right? It's no secret that consistency is key to keeping your body in tip-top shape. Well, guess what? The same can be said for your digital presence. Launching one digital ad or creating one social media post just isn't enough to make your business stand out from the crowd. It takes consistent time, energy, and commitment to make your digital presence work for you. At Be Visible Web Design, we specialize in creating, implementing, and monitoring your business's digital footprint. Think of us as your business's very own personal trainer. Get back to business and bring business back to you with Be Visible Web Design. Would you believe me if I told you that eating just one apple would make you healthy? What about if I said that going for a single jog would keep you fit for life? Probably not, right? It's no secret that consistency is key to keeping your body in tip-top shape. Well, guess what? The same can be said for your digital presence. Launching one digital ad or creating one social media post just isn't enough to make your business stand out from the crowd. It takes consistent time, energy, and commitment to make your digital presence work for you. At Be Visible Web Design, we specialize in creating, implementing, and monitoring your business's digital footprint. Think of us as your business's very own personal trainer. Get back to business and bring business back to you with Be Visible Web Design. All right, so what do you guys think of that? Did you guys like the Doodly one better or the Toonly one better? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear, uh, hear your thoughts on that. So now we're gonna dive into it. What was that actually like? Again, as a super beginner, ultra novice um, creator using these two platforms, what was that like from end to end? So let's talk about user experience first. So hands down, Doodly wins in terms of user experience. Um, uh, it is so easy. The, the tutorials that they provide um, with, when, you, when you subscribe and when you get started with the program are very, very well laid out, um, uh, broken down into really bite-sized, accessible, um, easy to follow tutorial videos. And really like genuinely you can get yourself up and running and, and get your first video out the door basically after one after one session after uh, sitting through the videos and then just tinkering a little bit you should be good to go um so that's great um Toonly also comes with a really wonderful set of um uh tutorial videos and everything laid out the exact same way it makes sense since these companies are, are um, uh, basically brother and sister companies, right? Um, however, because Toonly is just a little bit more dynamic in, in terms of what the program is in and of itself, uh, the user experience is a little bit different. So, so there's a little bit more room uh, to kind of get yourself all uh, tied up and, and twisted around and not sure how to undo the things that you've done. With Doodly, it's very, very easy. If, if, you, if you see something that you don't like, um, uh, it's, it's basically as easy as learning like Microsoft Office. Like, <laughs> that's what I'd compare it to, right? It, it's, it's that sort of bare bones, basic, um, easy to figure out. All right, so now let's talk about the versatility between each, each of these programs. So I'm sure you probably know what I'm going to say. Uh, in terms of versatility, I think it's very evident even in the short little videos that I created. 
um, the versatility with Toonly is much greater than the versatility with Doodly. Doodly is very much designed to help convey simple concepts in simple illustrations. Um, there, there is no room to add, um, uh, you know, really dynamic animation. You can't really bring your characters to life. Um, uh, you can to an extent because the, you can use different versions of, of those um, uh, sketched characters and everything. Like you can have them where they're um, uh, in different poses or conveying different emotions and uh, all that fun stuff. But it really just isn't quite the same. It, it very much relies on strong narration and um, really simple key graphics to help get your point across. Toonly, on the other hand, is basically just a cartoon, right? <laughs> That's exactly what it's designed to be. Uh, so there's a lot more room with creative storytelling. Um, you can, I, I would say that you could very successfully tell a whole story from beginning to end with Toonly um, without needing any kind of narration whatsoever. There, there's enough uh, versatility and in, in integrations in there between all the different scenes, all the different characters, um, and all the actions that those characters can do that you could effectively tell a whole story from beginning to end and not need to hear somebody somebody's voice over top explaining what's going on. Now we're going to talk about the application for each of these programs. Um, Brad Callen, the, the person, basically the man behind uh, uh, Toonly and Doodly, has a wonderful article about this and he explains it very, very clearly and, and I agree with his assessment. Um, which makes sense, he created the product, so you know he, he should know um, uh, when it's best to use each one of these uh, particular programs. But I'll just re reiterate what he says and, and uh, kind of concur with that analysis. So Doodly is incredibly effective when it comes to creating videos that are designed to educate your audience. So literally the explainer videos. Um, if you are a company that is launching a new product or um, maybe you're, you are uh, kind of a, a pioneer in the tech world, I could definitely see uh, Doodly being incredibly valuable to helping you convey your message. Um, Doodly very much relies on um, the audience being dialed in, so listening very, very intently to what is being communicated to them and having uh, clear, concise basically indicator imagery to reinforce that concept or to reinforce um, uh, the information that is being conveyed. I find it's very, very good for helping people distill what it is that they're being asked to absorb. Toonly is fantastic for humanizing a brand or a product or a company. Uh, so, you know, just the fact that it is a cartoon uh, to begin with, that is the aesthetic of it. Um, that's wonderful. It's sort of tr triggering those um, those powerful nostalgic memories for audience members because when you see a cartoon you you automatically think to being entertained you think to you think back to um, uh, something fun that you that you watched um, as a child or uh, you know as a as a young content consumer um, to Toonly really successfully capitalizes on that it's also very character driven right so even in the demos that I created um, in the Toonly version of it, we're following that one young lady's journey uh, to uh, better her digital marketing presence, right? And, and we're invested in her and, and her story. Um, you know, we can, we can understand what she's feeling based on her facial expressions. We can see, um, uh, you know, physically how she is um, uh, reacting to what's going on around her or how uh, what she's experiencing is impacting her particular life um, in, in that moment and, and whatnot. So it's a really powerful uh, storytelling device that can be leveraged to help people really care about what it is that, that, you're, um, that you're talking about. So hand in hand, I think these programs um, uh, are, are really just a, a powerful combination and can be used and applied in a variety of different ways for a variety of, of different businesses. Personally, I, I would say that I enjoy Toonly more than Doodly, but I am an actor, writer, and director, right? I, I'm a professional storyteller, so it only makes sense that I would gravitate towards uh, the platform that 
enables me to tell more complex and, and more uh, strongly character-driven uh, stories that can be sort of recontextualized or, or applied to different businesses and everything. That's what I enjoy. Um, but in terms of, you know, if I've got a client who uh, is having a hard time kind of nailing down their value proposition or, um, you know, they've got a ton of, of information that they just need conveyed and they don't want it to just um, land on an audience that um, is really not on the same page with them, then I would go with Doodly 100% of the time. That's the one where I can um, really control uh, the power of the messaging and, and really just boil it down to, okay, what are the brass tacks of this and how uh, can I ensure that people walk away from this animation or this video and go, oh, yeah, I understand what they do or, or I understand what that product is now right? Um, so that's about it. I, that is my review of Doodly versus Toonly. Um, if I had to hedge my bets on one over the other, my personal bias leans towards Toonly. Again, the storytelling is primo for me, and that is always where I'm going to um, uh, lean more heavily. So let me know in the comments, what, what do you think? Um, what would you be interested to uh, try? What makes the most sense for you and your business? What helps you achieve the goals that you have set out for yourself? I'd love to hear about it. Again, I'm Rochelle from Be Visible Web Design and I'll see you next time.